All right, welcome back. For question number nine, we are looking at another Taylor series problem, polynomial, and it says, it says, let f be a function given by this cosine curve, and let p of x be a third degree Taylor polynomial about x equals zero. Now, the first question is we want to find p3 of x. We want to find that Taylor series for this question right here. Now, the only problem is it looks Mac Lauren, but remember, there's this horizontal shift right here. So therefore, we cannot use our shortcut here. Shortcut is a no-go for us in this one. So we want a third degree Taylor, so we're looking at n equals three. So we have to find uh, three derivatives for this one. So, the, so let's go ahead and do this one for part a. We are going to look at the nth zero derivative, which is just cosine three x plus three pi over four. The first derivative, just chain rule, negative three sine 3x plus 3 pi over 4. The value of our second derivative, negative 9 cosine 3x plus 3 pi over 4. And the value of our third derivative will stop here, negative 27, or positive 27, sine 3x plus 3 pi over 4. And now we're going to find the value of the derivative at 0. And that's not too bad to do. Uh, cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. This becomes sine of 3 pi over 4 is positive, so it's negative, so, but we get the negative 3 out there, negative 3 root 2 over 2. Here we're going to get negative 9 root 2 over 2, and plug in 27, we get 27 root 2 over 2. So our third degree Taylor polynomial, right, p sub 3 of x, is going to become our first term, negative root 2 over 2, minus 3 root 2 over 2, x minus 9 root 2 over 2 times 3 factorial x squared. Don't forget this comes from Taylor, our Taylor formula. And then the last one plus 27 root 2 over 2 x cubed. And there it is right there. Very easy to do. Now, part B, we're asked, use the Grand error bound to show that our error here, this is our error, at x equals 1 over 6 is less than or equal to 1 over 300. Well, this is Lagrange, so Lagrange said we have to look at the next term. So let's review Lagrange. Lagrange says that the error in the nth term is less than or equal to the maximum value of the next term. That's what this says. This is that max value of the next derivative over n plus 1 factorial x minus c to the n plus 1. So what we have to do, we have to find out what's the maximum value of the nth derivative. Well, we already found a third derivative. So we need the fourth derivative, which is not too bad to do. What is 3 times 27? That's just 81 cosine 3x plus 3 pi over 4. Well, what's the maximum value here? Well, Cosine can only be 1. It can, the max value for cosine is 1. And we're just taking that 1 times 81, so the maximum value was 81. So to get this one, to get the error in the third, in the third degree, we're going to take a look at the maximum value of the fourth derivative on the domain. Now, we say on the domain because um, we, we really don't quite know that. We, 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 don't know, we don't really know what the function looks like, so we, we're just picking... What's the maximum it could be? And this is going to be over 4 factorial. And this becomes um, our x value here is uh, 1 over 6 minus c, our center, which is just 0 to the 4th. And we just plug it in. Our maximum value, we said it was 81 over 4 factorial. And this becomes 1 over 6 to the 4th. Now, I'm really not quite sure what that is equal to, but this is going to be less than or equal to 1 over 300. Uh, but the AP won't expect you to know all of that. You can just simplify this. And you can say by, by Lagrange error bound. And there's your answer. All right, next one, part C. So part C now says, let g of x be defined by the integral of f. Right, the third degree Taylor polynomial. Now, no, notice here, they use letter T for T. Sometimes you use T or they use P of X for the polynomial. Either one's fine. 
about x equals 0. So now we just want to take the integral of it. So g of x is the antiderivative of what we had here from 0 to x. Uh, this just really fancy way of saying it. They just play everywhere there's an x, they're just using the letter t here. That's it. So we get negative root 2 over 2t. Two Remember, I'm just using my Taylor. I'm just using my Taylor polynomial. I'm just replacing all my x's with t's. But if you forget that, you'll be okay. Leave them as x's. They'll be fine. Minus 3 root 2 over 2t two plus 9 root 2 over 2 times 2 factorial t squared plus dot 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 because be careful now uh we can just keep going we don't know what we're going to be at yet so let's take a look here dt and now when we integrate this one we're going to get negative root 2 over 2 well, there should be no t on this one here there should be no t my original had no t on it but i was in, somebody integrating in my head giving the answer right away this becomes t minus 3 root 2 over 2 times 2t two squared plus 9 root 2 over 2 root uh, 2 factorial times 3t cubed plus dot 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 plus c, some c right there, some arbitrary c value. value. Uh, although I don't need a c value here because we are doing a definite integral, so we're going to evaluate this from 0 to x. I don't have to worry about the zero because if I plug in the zero, these all just become zero. So just worry about the x. So using the FTC, we get negative root two over two x minus three root two. I'm just going to put this over four x squared plus nine uh, root two over this becomes four times three, which is twelve x cubed. Uh, plus dot dot dot. Now let me make sure I get the answer here. I only want a third degree Taylor polynomial. Polynomial, so I would write so, and they say call it t of x. I think that they called it t of x, and I should put a three there for the degree. Becomes negative root two over two x minus three root two over four x squared. And if I want to be fancy, I can reduce this three root two over four uh, x cubed. It's a Taylor polynomial, so we put the dot, dot, dot. All right, so there we have it. I hope you guys had some fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.